Hello everyone, this is Steven. And today we're really, really up here. When we last left our adventurer, we were floating through on a little spory rockety thing, and now we're higher than we've been before. Oh shit. But this is no time to disregard fashion. Fuck it, let's live a little bit. <laughs> I look like a frog. Alright. Yeah. Oh, shit. That is not what I was expecting. Jesus. Um... We're higher than we've ever been before, and it might be the highest we get to go. <laughs> um, ooh, that, that one will shoot us straight up, and that's exactly what we need, so. Let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. We can make it. All right. Let's grab onto this thing. Uh. Let's, let's do a leave. All right. Going the other way. I'm not wanting to go this way now. Okay. That's good enough. We can make it. Oh shit. I'm having issues. Okay. Climb by hand is fun. I'm like moving up a little onyx looking thing here. No crystals. I wonder if, like, by this point you're supposed to have pretty much all the crystals in the game or what. I don't know. So while we're climbing here, I just want to give a, a brief shout-out to um, the Palouse River Rollers. It's a roller derby team that um, is is here local to, to my community. Um, they're playing in a tournament called Spoke Carnage right now. Uh, they're in their final bout. They actually made it to. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not there. I can only go by communication from the team that they made it to the kind of like the final championship bout, which is like huge for them because they beat a really great, well known team uh, to get there. So big props to them for even just making it. It doesn't seem at this point, it looks like the bout's almost over. It doesn't seem like they're quite gonna win this one but you know you guys did a really great job getting there and so props to all of you good job good job everybody if you haven't seen roller derby check it out it's really great kind of uh it's a fun sport kind of like a mixture of hockey and football and nascar <laughs> and uh and, it, and it's great it's it's something to do it you know keeps people athletic and Men and women can play, and it seems like a lot of fun. So, so go check out, see if if your local community does roller derby. If if you're looking for something to do, keep you active, build a community. Oh god! Okay, okay. So there's apparently something weird about this star plant, and that I need to be careful, so. Who knows what that is? Oh, but I like the crystals. Give me more of those all day. And also while I'm doing shout outs, shout out to, shout out to the dog for not interrupting the last one. She's still around, but I think she's tired. She seems a little sleepy. It's probably because she ate her damn breakfast today. You monster. Oh, shit. This 
Sweet, so we're one crystal away from another power up. Um, I, I honestly, I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm excited to get it. I know at some point, woo, at some point we'll get a booster for our glider so that we can like, pew, pew, like rocket power. Um, so we can actually like fly upward if we need to, rather than just kind of like maybe slowly climbing. Oy. I did that on purpose. I didn't do that on purpose. Okay. No. Okay. So there's some crazy groaning creature around here. I don't necessarily know what these do or if they're just there for show. They change colors when I grab them. I killed them! I killed the plant! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Alright, let's see what... Let's see what we've got here. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Laloon! Yeah! <laughs> We're not pixelated, guys. Yeah, Pod, just come up and meet us here. I mean, it took me forever to... Oh. It took me forever to actually make it up here, but you just go ahead and just come up here, it's fine. So do we have to come back when we found all the pieces? I mean, that would, that would make sense. Oh, so that's weird that there's such like, a, like the terrain is so, um, we'll call it wobbly, that it actually appears pixelated when you're not like right up next to it. Something, maybe like six or seven pieces are missing. Yeah, so I know what it is, but. Back to the planet. Okay. Oh, look at our stuff. <laughs> so this is pretty much um, drawings of events that happened in the first game. So yeah, like you can see, you could capture like little critters and there are all sorts of stuff and you use flowers and what is going on here? Cute, okay. So these are the pieces that I've gathered, it looks like, and so the thing just drops me out here. It's cute. I wonder if I'm actually able to free fall to the moon or to the to the planet because that would be metal F. Woo! 
Ooh. Oh, yes. Let's just look at how pretty space is. So we've got a little bit of time to decide here, but where should we go? Oh, it's like the gravity is like fucked up here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Gravity is real fucked up here. Okay. That makes sense. It makes sense then that I can't actually free fall to, <laughs> to the area. Okay, this is pretty badass, I must say. I'm just kind of in a weird orbit right now. Uh, I had no idea that they would have incorporated something like that into the game, but I suppose they had to since you're kind of traveling in a, in a circle or, or on a sphere. Like you have to have some form of gravity, otherwise you'd never be able to get to most parts of it. That's really fucking interesting. Okay, so we're actually going to use our teleporter for the first time in the game. <laughs> to make it back to the planet. Alright. La Loon! Oh, and they got like little cute little names for all of them. Um, let's go with Bouncelop Island because it sounds adorable. Did I do a thing? Did I get points for Ubisoft Club? I mentioned at the beginning that I actually kind of like Ubisoft Club. Um... And I'm going to be honest, I, I've only ever used it on console, so I don't know, like, any sort of how, how it relates to PC, um, if there's any sort of difference. But basically, all I use it for is to just get extra, like, skins and stuff for Ubisoft games. And that's all I want to use it for. It's my favorite type of downloadable content is just cosmetic uh, DLC. So... It really appeals to me. Um, so, I mean, that that's kind of where I'm coming from. Is is like, I, I don't necessarily... Like, I just want it to be in the game. And that's what I'll get used to. So, even in some of my favorite games, like, that have great DLC, I don't necessarily want to play it. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> because, I don't know, it's just like, I, I don't... I, I think of it as completely separate. Like, so, for instance, like, Dark Souls or... Bloodborne or something like that. Yeah, some of my favorite games are... I'll get a ball boost. Okay, yeah, that's kind of useless. So, at... Oh, shit, I think at 60 crystals we'll get glider boost, and that's what we really want. Um, but anyways... I, I don't necessarily like add-on DLC. I just think it's... Like I said, I just don't consider it to be part of the main game. Even though the DLC might be great and fun, I'm just like, it's it's never something that I ever want to go back to for the most part. So... Yeah, I just... I don't know. So I, I really like the Ubisoft Club because you don't have to pay any money. You just have to play their games and just do things and you earn points and then you can redeem them for... You know, in-game... Uh, thingies like skins and stuff and 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 the cool thing about it is that it's like there's not oh this is gonna be tis like they don't it's not like a ton you don't have to like play a whole game to unlock it like you can just do it right at the beginning and it's usually so cheap in terms of their currency for unlocking stuff so i fired up this game i unlocked all of the possible skins i could right away and i've still got plenty to spare i could probably load up every ubisoft game i can get my hands on spend all my points and get all of my oh i thought that was a tub for some reason and get all the you know cosmetic dlc i can get my hands on and still have plenty of 
of their kind of their Ubisoft Club currency to spare. So, so I kind of like Ubisoft Club just because I sit there and I go, oh great, I can unlock a skin right away <laughs> and change how I change how my character looks because it's my favorite sort of uh, add-on content is, is cosmetic DLC. Do do. Now, I feel like there was a, a challenge around here that I need to get to. I don't need to get to, but I'd like to get to. Thanks, physics. Cool. Let's check and see if we've got a challenge right here, because this looks like a perfect, yeah, there we go. <laughs> this looks like a perfect spot for a challenge. get that oh shit come on come on come on come on, come on, come on. okay this is bad because <laughs> i'm just wasting my time here i had to that's not good i had to recharge my batteries there and Oh, this is also not good. We might be retrying this challenge. Damn, look at how far I have to go. <laughs> Please, glider. Save me in my buffoonery. All right, cool, we did it. Now, where are we going to next? Should we go get another ship part? Yeah, I think we should. So since we've got a million <laughs> years to travel over here, I just want to take a second and thank everyone for for watching my content. And I, I mean, I hope you enjoy it because, you know, I don't make a dime off of this. I just do it simply because I, I love video games and, and I just want to celebrate that love and, and I want to put some good into the world. So, I mean, I, I just hope you enjoy it and I hope it makes you know, somebody's day even just a little bit better, because that's pretty much uh, the, the entire purpose of me doing this, because I know I'm not changing planet Earth, but I, I just hope that somebody enjoys my content and um, and can find some joy in it, you know, maybe, maybe it'll just like take, take up some time on, on, in their day, and maybe they just need something to zone out to, or or fuck, maybe you just want to see what the game looks like or anything like that. But I mean, anything I can do to help, I think I'd, I personally would feel pretty good about. But like I said, I know I'm not like saving planet Earth. I'm no doctor or anything. I'm no philanthropist, but I, uh, this is kind of what I do to try and put some good out into the world. Those things will definitely eat me for sure. And I have been killed by them before and it was not my favorite thing that ever happened. <laughs> So I heard a, oh man, this is fucking hotbed. I heard, there we go. It's like I could have sworn I heard a damn 
crystals, so thankfully it's right next to our ship part. All right, let's dismount. Well, that was one of the later ones. Okay. Yay! Mom's gonna be okay. So this place looks kind of cool. Um, and I think we should definitely visit it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try out our treble K. <laughs> All right. No! Okay. <laughs> So that is the general idea. So everybody, we're going to catch you next time. So thank you so much for watching my videos. We're going to play more Grow Up. Do a thing!